Okay, now continue with the uh, uh, previous lecture. We have uh, talked about the quantization and the quantization error. And we have uh, solved uh, this example, if you remember. We have solved this example and we have determined the required number of bits, uh, actual ARMS error, RMS error, and the bit rate. Now let us continue with the D2A uh, converter from the current slide. Okay, now uh, D2A converters are used as the building blocks of successive approximation ADC converter. Uh, we have wide range of or kinds of uh, uh, A to D converters. The most widely used is called the successive approximation A to D converter. We take a functional view of such converters without getting into the electrical details of their construction. I mean, I'm going to talk about the operation of these circuits, A to D and D to A circuit. I'm not going to talk about the electronic circuits. Well, I mean, we need, uh, for example, uh, uh, operation amplifiers and comparators and so on. Uh, this is not our uh, subject. So we are going to concentrate on the uh, operation of uh, these uh, circuits. Now consider a B bit D to A converter with full scale range R. And in many times I have said about R, we said that R is rep represent the VCC of the electronic circuit. As shown in figure below, given B inputs of zeros and one, okay, so we have a single dimension array or vector 
of B starting uh, B1, B2 up to B subsequent B capital. Uh, really, as you can see here, B1 represents the most significant bit and B subsequent B, B capital is the least significant bit. The converter outputs an analog value XQ. So it will uh, approximate the signal that lies on the one of the two to power B quantization levels within the range R. If the converter is unipolar, look please, if the unipolar at that time, the range will fall between zero and R capital, okay, from zero to VCC. If the if it is bipolar, if it is bipolar, it falls in the minus R over two and R over two. Well, so in this case, we are dealing with signals with positive and negative, okay? Or plus and minus swing. Well, bipolar for positive and negative, unipolar for uh, zero, for example, zero to R. This will be the block diagram of the D2A converter. As you can see, R reference, really R is the supply of DC supply voltage for the circuit. B1 is the most significant bit and uh, B subsequent B capital will be the least significant bit. And the output of the D2A converter will be what? Will be the quantized value of the signal. So it will generate values uh, for the samples uh, uh, within what? Within the quantization levels. Now, the manner in which B bits are associated with the analog value execute depends on the type of converter and the coding convention used. We will discuss the three widely used types, a unipolar natural binary, bipolar offset binary, and bipolar twos complement converters. As I think you have studied uh, previously, the natural binary, uh, 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 bipolar offset, I mean one's complement and we have two's complement system. Again, as I think you have studied how to convert from binary to uh, decimal, okay? And from say uh, binary to hexadecimal and so on. Okay, well, now XQ, now XQ, it is its output XQ is computed in term of B bits, which output output of the D to A converter, okay? Output of the D to A converter will be calculated as follows. Look, please, R, R multiplied by two to minus one, B two to minus one. What does it mean? B one divided by two, okay? This will be B2 divided by what? By four, plus up to B subsequent B small, B capital divided by two to power B small. Well, this is meant by uh, this one, okay? B1 multiplied by two to minus one and all multiplied by R. The bipolar offset binary converter is obtained by shifting the previous equation down by the half scale r over two okay so look please what's going on giving the rule r the same equation minus 0.5 of course the whole range is shifted by what by 0.5 so uh, execute now swing between positive and negative really we have a simple problem which we are going to discuss by now one unnatural property of the offset binary code is that the level XQ equal to zero is represented by non-zero bit pattern, okay? One, zero, zero, something. This is remedied by two's complement code, which is the most commonly used code. Of course, how we are going to overcome this problem, I mean, when XQ is equal to zero, it will appear like, for example, we talk about uh, 16, uh, four bits, I mean, uh, like number eight, or when talking about a three bit, it will be number four. Really, we have zero. 
So how we are going to overcome this problem? By taking the two's complement for the uh, system. Uh, B1 will be inverted. Okay, so uh, the modified equation will be the previous equation, except B1 will be what will be inverted to overcome uh, this uh, problem. Well, now uh, the table shown summarizes the three converter types and their input output coding conventions. Okay, natural binary, offset binary, and two's complement. Okay, execute, execute, execute. Okay, look, two's complement, we are going only to complement B1, of course, of the what of the offset binary from the previous equation. Now, to understand what's going on and to uh, answer uh, the questions, uh, here we have a table, okay? This table will uh, show uh, the three uh, systems, three systems used in the representation of uh, XQ uh, with the following parameters. Now, the table shown below compares the three coding conventions for the case of B equal to four. So we have 16 levels in this case. R or the VCC of the signal will be of the system, I mean, is 10 volts. The level spacing Q, of course, easily you can calculate the Q. The Q equal to R over two to power B, which is 10 divided by, sorry, two to power four. Okay, this will be two to power four. And the result, I mean 10 divided by 16, not 24, 2 to the power 4. It will be 0.625 volts. The codes B1, B2, B3, B4 in the first column apply to both natural and offset binary cases, but the quantized analog values that they represent are different. Now, let us uh, talk about this table now. Starting by this table, look, I'm going to start from uh, down to up, okay? Four zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to what? Up to 15. Well, four zeros and four ones start from zero to 15. Well, M represents what represents number of levels, okay? Number of levels. So we have... Uh, uh, from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 15. Please look at uh, the natural binary to understand what's going on. Then we are going to illustrate uh, for the others. Look at here. What does it mean, 0? Zero? 0 level means uh, there is no level. Okay, 0 Q. Well, now, when we talk about level 1, only one level, in voltage it will be what? 1 Q. Level two means two Q. Well, Q is 0.625, so two Q will be 1.25. Three means three multiplied by Q will be this number. Four Q will be 2.5, five Q, six Q, seven Q, up to 15 Q. So what will be the last value? It will be 9.375. Of course, we don't have the value of 10. Well, always the last level will be what? Will be R minus Q, okay? Last level will be R minus a Q. This will be uh, the representation of the quantized signal. Now, now let us go to the, let us go to the uh, second system, which is the offset binary. Look, please. In this time, we said that we are going to shift the whole range by what? By R over two, okay? While shifting the range by R over two, at that time, we have negative and positive uh, values. Well, so starting from what? Minus five, okay? Minus five. Let's go to the, uh, say this equation, okay? This will be uh, this equation. Well, when all bits are zeros, please look at the equation. When all bits are zeros, at that time, XQ will be what? Will be R 
over 2 in minus, minus R over 2. Look, based on this equation, this equation, when all bits are zeros, XQ will be what? Will be minus R over 2. R in this example is what? Minus 5. Okay, look please. When all bits are zeros, at that time we have what? We have minus 5. It's okay. Now, then we are going to what? We are going to increase uh, the level by one step size or uh, one Q. Of course, minus 5 plus 0.625 will be this value, 4.375 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, up to getting what? The zero. Well, now please look at this zero. I'm, I'm talking about this value. Well, now when zero, go to the representation of the binary number. Look, look here. The zero indicated by what? Indicated by eight. So it's a natural value, really. Why? We are talking about zero level and we have what? And we have eight. So it's unacceptable. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to overcome this problem by what? By complementing the most significant bit. Well, so this is the point of the zero. Of course, then increase by one, increase by one up to reaching the uh, level seven. Well, now if you are going to uh, co uh, complement uh, the last bit, the last bit, we can get what? This one. Look, please. And already one represents what? Used for what? For minus sign. As I think you have studied the, these ideas in um, uh, digital systems, or microcontrollers, and so on, or microprocessors. Hmm? Have yes, you studied the numbers, uh, system numbers, and to complement or not? Yes, we studied it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one in, in when we talk when we, when we deal with the signed numbers, okay, the one means negative. Well, so here we have a negative minus one. Okay, this will be minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. Okay, and this will be the uh, minus value. Uh, here we have uh, really it's very simple seven, six, five already is arranged uh, in positive. This is the three <coughs> numbers that we are going to consider in the A to D converter. The remaining of this lecture will be dedicated for the A to D converter. Now, uh, before talking about the A to D converter, we have talked about what D to A converter, which is the main block in the successive approximation A to D converter. Now, A to D converters quantize an analog value X, so that is represented by bits. Well. Quantization, many times I have told you that quantization means rounding or approximation the actual sample value to the nearest quantization level. B bits, B1 up to B subscript B capital, which is a vector. As shown in figure one, ADC converter come in many varieties depending on how the conversion process is implemented. One of the most popular ones is the successive approximation A to D converter. Really, we have another kind of, uh, for example, uh, R to R ladder. We have the flash A to D converters. I mean, the, the very rapid uh, kinds of the A to D converter. But the uh, most popular one uh, is the successive approximation A to D converter, whose main building block is a D to A converter in the feedback loop is shown in figure two. Uh, this will be, uh, in general, uh, the ADC converter. ADC converter will be fed by input, analog input. Of course, the analog input will be sample, okay? A single sample. Sample will be fed to the input of the ADC converter. And R is the VCC of the ADC converter. Uh, most significant bit is the B1, and the least significant bit is the B subscript capital B. Uh, after converting the input sample to its equivalent uh, B bits, uh, this vector will be uh, transferred to the output of the ADC converter. Now, uh, this diagram represents the successive approximation A to D converter. Mm -hmm. Ready? 
شي خلاص كرمك اوكي ناو وي هاف ثري Uh, building blocks in uh, the success approximation A to D converter. First block will be the uh, comparator. And here we have successive approximation register. Successive approximation register. And here we have the D to A converter. Okay, the D to A converter. Now, how the successive approximation A to D converter works? At the beginning, at the beginning, we are going to what? To initialize the system. Of course, the most important thing in the initialization process will be what? The successive approximation register, okay? Initially, all bits are cleared to zero in the successive approximation register okay this register will be what will be uh, initialized and resetted well now second step will be what we are going to set b1 equal to one mr rajan very hopden when b1 equal to one what does it mean b1 b1 equal to 1 and the rest of the bits are zeros okay and the rest of the bits are zeros now this pattern i mean 1 0 0 0 0 is applied to the d2a converter and an x quantized signal will be generated now this xq which is generated by the D2A converter will be compared by the input sample or the analog signal. Now, what do we mean by B1 equal to one? Can anyone tell me what do you mean, what do you mean by B1 equal to one? Hmm? Can you tell me what do you mean by B1 equal to one? Hmm? Where are you? Are you with me or out of coverage area? Victoria, it means you. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Victoria, I care. I get super. I'm binary. I care. I mean, I pinch volt. I get super. Pinch volt. And yeah, but you chose the wrong pinch volt. <laughs> generally, generally, what do you mean by, for example, now, say we have four bits, okay, we have four bits, one, zero, zero, three, three, one, three zeros, will be applied to the D2A converter, okay, now this XQ represents what? Now. Let us go back to the table. Let's be Khobden. Rajaan. Let's be Khobden. Ava chit ishta one three zeros na one three zeros. Qimati wa ava chanda. Ha? Ava penja na. Bale. Wa full scale chand bu dah bu na. Yani when the most significant bit is one and the rest of bits are zeros. What does it mean? It means that we are talking about what? About half of the range, okay? About half of the range. XQ will represent what? Exactly half of the range. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to compare X or the input of the, input of the success approximation uh, A to D converter, the input with XQ. Is the input greater than half of the range or not if it's greater than half of the range at that time the output of the comparator will be one 
otherwise it will be what it will be zero now if the value of the sample is greater than half of the range i mean if we said that r equal to 10 uh, 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 then we can say that the half of range equal to five so if the sample is greater than half of the range then b1 will be set to one otherwise if the sample value less than half of the range b1 will be what will be zero of course <coughs> after fixing b1 we are going what we are going to take b2 set b2 equal to one and the other bits i mean b3 up to b subscript capital uh, b capital are what are initialized to zero and again determine xq and compare xq with the what with the uh, input sample up to what up to finish the whole bits when we reaching our last bit i mean b subscript capital b again xq will be generated and the output of the comparator will be stored where in the b subscript capital b i mean the comparator output represents what represents the actual value of each bit at a time for example when we have round one the output of the comparator means what means uh, uh, the value of b1 round two output of the comparator will be the value for b2 round three for b3 up to getting the round b uh, b capital okay uh, at that time the whole process of the sex approximation atd converter will be finished and the uh, bits stored in the shift in the shift register sex approximation register will be what will be transferred to the output of the AD, adc converter and going to the next step well starting with the most significant bit each bit is turned on in sequence and the test is performed to determine whether the bit should be left on or turned off the control logic puts the correct value of that bit in the right slot in the SIR register, leaving all tested bits set at their correct values. The next bit is turned on in the SIR and the process is repeated after B tests. Okay, number of bits, how many number of bits we have? Okay, we have uh, these tests. Uh, the SIR will hold the correct bit uh, vector, as I have told you. At each test, the SIR bit vector is applied to the D2A converter, which produces the analog quantized XQ. Now, when a given bit is turned on, the output XQ of the D2A converter is compared with the analog input X to the ADC. Now, this is the uh, condition of the comparator. If X greater than or equal to XQ, that bit is kept on, else it's turned off. The output C of the comparator is the correct value of the bit being tested. Now we can uh, summarize the operation of the uh, ADC converter. How uh, really uh, look for each X, X of course a sample value to be converted, do the following, initialize B zeros to zeros then for i equal to one up to b capital do bi equal to one execute will be d to a converter b b capital r if x greater than or equal to execute c equal to one else c equal to zero bi equal to c of course uh, i'm going in this time to give you a homework you have to perform this homework by either using matlab language or c language or any programming language you are free to use which programming language to, to, you, to you prefer uh, to convert this algorithm into a program and your program must receive uh, a sample and to produce the equivalent bits for that sample the algorithm imitates the operation shown of course the comparator operation may be uh, simplified by unit step function u of x minus x q okay uh, unit step function shifted by x q uh, at the end of uh, this lecture really uh, we have this example uh, i'm going to uh, tell you something you have to go back home okay uh, you are at home by now sorry uh, you you are going you have to by your hand 
try to solve this example, okay? Try to solve this example by your hand. And if you fail to uh, complete this example completely, or you have some misunderstanding, I'm going to help you in the next week. Look at the example. Convert the analog values x equal to 3.5 and x equal to minus 1.5. So in this example, we have what? We have positive and negative values. False to their offset binary representation, assuming b equal to 4 and r equal to 10 volts. So directly, you can you make use of this table. Okay, in the solution of this example, this table is already supplied for what? For R equal to 10 and B equal to four bits. Okay, so easily you can make use of uh, this table to determine uh, the output for uh, this example. Now, the following table show the successive tests of the bits, the corresponding D to A converter output at each test and the comparator output C. Look, what we are going to do, B tests, at the beginning we are going to test B1, then B2, then B3, and then B4. Okay, first of all, this will be one and the others will be what will be zero. Look, please, this signal is what is 3.5, is 3.5, okay? Now, Sorry. Uh, oh. uh, this signal is a 3.5. Slide show. Uh, this is the 3.5. So what we are going to do, we are going to compare the signal with what? With the uh, with the uh, reference voltage. Okay. Now, based on the uh, this idea, we are going to put the correct values. Set to one, find XQ, and then find another bit, okay, B2, B3, and uh, B4. Well, in every time, you are going to calculate XQ. Of course, XQ, as I have told you before, um, uh, how many levels you have. For example, three levels means three Qs. So at the beginning, you have to determine Q and then uh, work with the values of Q. Again, you have to consider the plus and minus uh, values uh, to complete uh, the table. This will be uh, as a homework for you, okay? Try to uh, calculate these values and how these, ta these two tables are filled with these values, okay? Of course, you have to uh, try it by your hand, okay? Take a piece of paper with a pen and uh, try to calculate these values uh, don't try to read it from mobile or tablet or anything else. You need a piece of paper and you need a, a pen and try the values by your hand. This will be uh, the lectures for uh, this week. Uh, uh, next week, inshallah, we are going to continue uh, with the uh, DSP lectures. And next week, inshallah, we will deal with the convolution process. Uh, really, uh, as I think you are familiar with the convolution, but um, in the next coming lecture, inshallah, I am going to talk about the convolution in a new way. Well, and we are going to uh, use techniques by which we can computerize the convolution process. I mean, how we are going to write suitable C, MATLAB, or any programming language to perform the uh, convolution. By now, I'm going to give you three minutes to write down your names in the chat. I'm going to save the chat for the attendance of the second lecture. سيدا بس بريزو مي بقلي الشام دو دا قد يال طلب آغزو شاوة بس بريزو مي بقلي الشام دو دا قد يال طلب آغزو تناغا دنجي تناغا بس دورت بيجن بس دو دا قد يال طلب آغزو ها ابلا نا مشكلة
درست جماعه دش بر کویز زاودیه کویز مایکرو کنترل پنجشنبه از ساعت 4 ایواری درست است گل گل جان دست خوش نوا اینا بس ساعت دجی گیرم پروژه پنجشنبه مایکرو آ ساعت 4 ایواری او دی او آنلاین یا نو ایدیه آنلاین آنلاین ها آنلاین آنلاین درو نا بس گل گل جان دست خوش عزیزی شام را دست خوش گل نوا دست خوش نوا عزیزی داوود داوودی دا یتی دا بله برا بله حالا کویز تجیل بو بس مو بدا بجمعتا یعنی سوائی کویز نینه؟ بله عزیزی داود یعنی سهر اون لائنه رو جا پینشن بیان دیران که آیتری بله بله هر اون لائنه ای پوش همون که پوش مالا تا تا خبصه ای خستی نیش بر داودی مو بدا مزگینه بگیم بیم خبصه نکتیه بیم 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 ریکورد ها از بجمتا ما صدا ایش دا بجمع با ریکورد با خودی خیر ریکورد دارم با بیدی اپلاد کم لسر او بیدید اپلاد کم لسر مودلی یعنیم چکی مقاید را سیدا خیلی با کسی ایش دا اوست اپلاد که سیدا کپ که دکتر مگو دا بمزگینه بگیم ما طلب ها بری بخینم دست خوش نمید دست خوش عزیز دکتر عزیز تا خلاص کت خلاص درسته؟ درست دکتر یا لکس اوکی این تدری لیم خلاص بله کرم که کرم که برا دکتر بس جیب بیا بس که تو شیب و محاضر دید لینکی بکت مود لیدم لینک یه میتینگ چون که هر دور هم نیم ها ای من هر جا دی بدل ناکم ها اوه نفسی اوی دیه نفسی پاسورد و نفسی آی دیه نه مشکل ایه بکت مود لیده چه ایتره ستر چه اوه نه مشکل ایه درسته مشکل ایه نه جارابید و ده افلاد کم نستر مودل ایه اوه ثابته ایه ده بدل ناکه ما بد انشاءالله درسته درسته عزیزم عزیزم ستر چه اوه ستر چه اوه خیراته یالا خاطر اوه ستر چه اوه دکتر گلکس پاس سپاس ده دکتر ستر چه اوه برا